What is up everybody? Dan Dan the Fireman here. Um, it's a little bit late in the day. It's 12.22 on Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas. And I don't know what time this will be uploading. Probably, I don't know, later obviously. So guys, I just want to kind of give you an update of what's going on. I want to make this quick. I don't want to take your time up. Uh, if you're watching this today, definitely I don't want to be taking any of your time up. My buddy Matt, uh, he was in a very serious life-altering motorcycle accident on Tuesday last week, so six days ago, and it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. It's pretty severe. He, uh, yeah, it's 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 not good. And so what I'm going to be doing for the next couple weeks is talking to you kind of about his recovery, talking to you about what happened, um, kind of kind of like investigating the accident and talking to you about that and hopefully making it more of a, uh, a learning thing. Oh, I forgot my wallet. That's not good. Uh, more of a learning thing um, because there's a lot of stuff that is happening to him that I don't normally see. I usually see, you know, what we see on the, on the accident itself and then I transport to the hospital and that's kind of it. I don't see the, you know, the rehab. I don't see the surgeries and stuff. And that's what I've been seeing this past week and that's what I'm gonna be seeing for the next few weeks is just a lot of life altering stuff. And I want to bring this to you guys. I want it to be a learning lesson. Um, not to necessarily be like, you know what, let's be downers and let's just talk about uh, a pelvic fracture and the rehab that it's gonna take. But that's a common injury. These are things that I've looked up just recently. It's like, why? That's crazy. It's like, it's a common thing. Pelvic fractures on, on front end motorcycle accidents are very common. So it's not necessarily just giving new topics to talk about. It's, it's, it's giving you guys my insight and what I see. And that's kind of what I want to show to you guys all the time with my channel and all the time with my videos is that these are the things that, from my point of view, from a medical professional point of view, and then now with Matt showing you what actually happens after a motorcycle accident, what happened during the motorcycle accident, his recovery, what, so if you guys have a friend that got in an accident, so you're more aware of what might be happening, or if you were in an accident and you're still, you know, all there, hopefully this will help you out. It'll give you some hope, kind of like how I talked to you guys about um, my divorce and mental illness and all that stuff. And hopefully it'll give you guys kind of like an insight of, you know, if you're going through it, hopefully, you know that there, there's a there's an end to that there's a there's a bright end to that hopefully so with matt he's going to be going through rehab he's in rehab hospital right now he had surgery on his pelvis he has a bro he has a broken uh right leg uh the, and, 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 and a broken arm and i'll and i'll go through all this kind of stuff uh when i actually talk about the actual injuries and what happened but i just want to give you guys a heads up now with all these videos I'm going to be having a link in the description and the first comment of all the videos uh, link to his GoFundMe page. He is in a lot of pain. He's having um, issues remembering. He has a, a wonderful wife that is 31 weeks pregnant last week, so 32 weeks pregnant now, and they're going to be having the baby very soon. There's just like a lot of stuff going on right now. Just a lot of a lot of terrible things and. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what to say. To be honest, um, the GoFundMe thing is just really, really to help because there's a lot of. I don't. I don't know what to say. I. I honestly. Um, I just want to help him out, and uh, and it's and it's very tough. So. Uh, I think I'll have a little more composure when, when uh, I I have like a. When I have something to. Uh, something to say you know when I can talk about his helmet he was wearing his helmet his belt bullet I can talk about how it survived and how it protected him um, basically when I have a topic because but right now I just I just kind of want to get you guys a heads up and I'll be seeing him today and it's just if you want to help out if you, if you want to help out his recovery um, go ahead and click that link and uh, anything helps you know he's gonna have to get a wheelchair he's gonna have to possibly get a hospital bed he can't walk for a long time we're gonna have to figure out how to give him a bath and shower it's just I don't know I don't know it's 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 gonna be tough for him so I 
Okay. With that said, guys, um, I will see you guys this week and next week. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your holidays. Uh, please be safe. Wear your gear. And you guys will be a part of this journey uh, of his recovery because I'm going to be documenting it and I'm going to be talking to you guys about his injuries and, and everything. So, okay. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.